Cool. So let's talk about where we're at in the project. Another video done right away because a lot got done in the last couple days. Um, so I finished up putting the angle iron on there and I put a uh, triangle brace. Okay, the bearings are on there. And same thing on the other side. Just a little triangle brace that goes up. Just stand back here a little bit. And I just temporarily put the weight in there um, just for alignment purposes. So now we got the weight sitting next to the gearbox. And all the chain is on with the master links for that one, as well as for that one. Okay. I also changed out the 1,000 pound um, connectors for 400 pound connectors because for um, the first tests are going to be well under 400 pounds. So it makes life a lot easier because these, these are just quick little clip, clip, clip hooks. So and you can just uh, press the hook here and you know, you're ready to roll and take it off and switch it out for that one up there. Okay. So um, I'm getting really close to putting some weight on there and, and crank her up. But first, I have to, uh, you can see I'm dealing with some boat winch, boat trailer winch issues. The, the crank handle uh, was making contact with my mount, uh, this tube. So I had to heat it up and bend it. This is, so you can see the radius, pretty serious radius there. And uh, some people have a kill with a lot of high heat and they get it out and they blacksmith it and that's all cool. Um, I don't have a kill. <laughs> but what I do have is, you know, a little inexpensive uh, propane tank. A couple of ones you use at campfires and stuff like that. And, and I just heat it up and then I uh, have an anvil here. And you can see it's got the pointy end on it right there. Right. And that's really convenient. You just set the... Uh, set your workpiece right over the anvil and just hammer away when it's all heated up. And that's what I did. I just hammered away and bent it. Got the shape I needed. And I still have some more work to do on this uh, handle. And a couple things, I'm going to extend the length of this handle so that when we get into the higher weights, I'll have uh, greater leverage to wind up the weight. So, uh, sorry, I'm kind of fussing around here with this thing, but so the next thing I do, I put a mark right here. I have to heat it up again and bend it, uh, you know, this way. So be bending that way so that it's uh, straight. And then I'm going to put the handle back on. I think I'm going to extend the total length of this handle, so um, have more leverage. Like I said, I put the weight down there so I when I'm going to crank it up and see where this handle intersects the lifting area make sure I don't run into a problem there. But I definitely want to extend the length of this uh, lever for the boat winch, um, trailer winch, um, and get the maximum use out of that. Since I got it torn apart already and, and heating it up and doing what I got to do, I'll finish that up. And then once I'm done with that, um, just got to put some split lock collars on each end. I ordered those, waiting for them to come in because uh, buying them locally, they're really pricey. Getting them online, they're really cheap one over here just so this won't walk. Talked about that in the last video. Um, and I mentioned the last video I had a little keyway issue there. Took care of that. That, uh, that little sprocket's all snug. Snugged up, ready to roll. This one's looking good. And uh, the chain, nice and taut. This one's a little looser. I am a little concerned about it. But uh, you know, I'll keep an eye on it. We'll just see what happens under load. I think I'm going to be okay there. Avoiding chain tinctures is a, quite a bit of work, but it's worth it. So we're looking really good here. Just want to do a short video for you guys. Um, going to be running some weight here probably in the next few days. And I hope that things are a lot better than they were 
uh, before when I had that gearbox out in this area here. Now that's solid mounted to the uh, framework, and we're going to do some testing again, and let's just see how this goes. My, my one of my other concerns is that the uh, the uh, solid shaft, even though it's one inch diameter, I am concerned about some flexing here. I'm hoping I don't have to switch over to, to uh, uh, a tube axle, which would be much more rigid. So I've got to keep an eye on that under testing. We'll see what happens. If the flexing is minimal, then, then I'll be okay. If not, I may have to change it out. So there we are. Things are looking good. Um, I'll run another video here hopefully within the next week, and we'll hopefully get some weight running, and I'll get back to you guys then. Okay, guys, take care.